That's why they isolate. That's why they manipulate. That's why they lie. That's why they gaslight. They don't want you to see those cycles. A narcissist wants you to forget the past. Have you ever had that where you're having a conversation and it turns into an argument or it turns into something giant and all of a sudden there's this giant blow up, this giant argument, there's yelling, there's screaming, there's narcissistic rage, like whatever it is, it's huge. And then all of a sudden they walk out. They're like, okay, I'm done. They walk out, they leave and give it five minutes, give it 20 minutes, give it three hours. They walk back in and you turn around, you look at them and you're like, ready for another fight, ready for another confrontation. They're like, what do you wanna get for supper? You see, a lot of times a narcissist will disconnect their reality so they don't have to admit what's actually happened. So they don't have to admit what's actually been done. And what they'll do is they'll disconnect that very quickly and efficiently so that they don't have to deal with the aspects of shame and of guilt and of accountability. This is why you'll hear a lot of times in the narcissistic community and everything that the narcs want you to forget the past because they do. And so many times people in relationships and people out of relationships still go back and they still struggle to remember the bad past. They only remember the good past. Because when you think about it, when you're in the relationship with a toxic person that's been mentally, emotionally, physically, sexually abusive to you, you don't want to remember those things because that is a dark place. That is a place you don't want to visit because it's got a lot of hurt, a lot of embarrassment, a lot of shame that goes to it, and you don't want to revisit it. But there's also been a lot of aspects that when you're with a narcissist, you can't revisit those places because it wasn't safe. It wasn't safe for you to express your emotions. It wasn't safe for you to express your doubts or your fears or the things that you were struggling with. So as a result, after the relationship, you still have that in your mind, that it's not safe to be able to work through those things. The narcissist wants you to forget the past. Why? Because they've disconnected from it. If they can disconnect from the past, then they don't have to deal with it. If they can disconnect with what they've done, then they don't have to own up to it. If they can disconnect from what they said, then they don't have to admit that it happened. You'll see this happen a lot of times in these toxic relationships where they'll disconnect and they'll try to move on as fast as possible. Don't be surprised if there's an injury, if there's a argument, if there's a fight and the narcissist expects you to move on like that. They're like, why won't you move on? Like, why can't we finish talking about this? Like, this is in the past. I thought we already dealt with this. I thought you already forgave me. I thought we already moved past this. I know that because those have been things that I've said. I know that because those have been things that I've done. There was times in our relationship and our marriage that I got to the place where she knew about stuff or she was upset about stuff. And my goal was we need to get past this as quick as possible. Maybe Kayla would get upset because she found that I was texting someone else or she found that I was in a relationship with someone. Like she found out about an affair and she got so mad. My goal is figure out How can we avoid this as fast as possible? All right, so a real-life example. The first affair that I was ever a part of. Confessed that. Kayla found out, slash, I confessed it, okay? And when that happened, the frustration that bubbled up, everything like that, like, obviously, she's mad. She walked out. She drove away for a few, calmed down, came back. I'm sitting there thinking I've lost everything. Like she's gonna leave, I'm probably gonna lose my job, probably gonna lose the house, like all this kind of stuff is going through my head. She comes back in and we start talking a little bit. I try to be nice, try to be loving, all this kind of stuff. What comes into my mind, I give her a hug, all this type of stuff, I'm trying to apologize, all this type of stuff. And then what comes in my mind is literally something that I did a week before where I, I broke a bar on one of like the, uh, like a stool or something. Like I broke something on it. She didn't know anything about it. In the moment, after we like start talking just for a few, I'm like, oh, by the way, this happened. 
I'm literally trying to distract, try to move on because I can't take the type of shame. I can't take what we're looking at in that moment. So I have to think, how can we get past this as fast as possible? <coughs> now she was like, no, what the heck? Like, why are you even bringing that up? You know, but like my goal is you got to get past it like as quick as possible. A narcissist will often do that where there's an injury, there's a frustration, there's anything. And one of their first things is let me distract. And oftentimes that distraction will look like trying to put attention on something else or they'll come back and they'll attack because they want you to move past the past as quick as possible. A narcissist wants you to look past the items in the past so they can keep doing it in the future. A narcissist wants you to ignore the past so they continue abusing you in the present. You have to understand that. You have to see and you have to internalize and understand that the only reason why they don't want you to look back is so you don't have a clue of what's coming. Because it's a cycle. It keeps happening over and over and over again. The narcissist doesn't want you to think like, oh, I had an affair. Why? Because the next one's coming. The narcissist doesn't want you to think like, oh, I screamed at you. Why? Because that's around the corner. Narcissists will do anything they can to distract, to attack, to deflect, to discourage so that you don't look at the past. Because the past for narcissists is a prediction for their cycles. And you'll see the cycles happen over and over and over again. With different people that I talk to, they're like, wow, like my narcissist had an 8 to 12 week cycle. Or my narcissist had a 6 month cycle. And some people are on here, they're like, yeah, my narcissist had a, a cycle as well. Other people are like, what are you talking about? Like, literally, there's some people that I've talked to that had a cycle of exactly six months, almost to the day, six months, six months, then six months. Something would happen, everything would be good. Six months later, boom, they were gone for at least a month. They'd run back home to their parents or they'd take them in, enable them, however. Then they'd come back almost a month later, six months. And they knew six months from now, they're going to leave again every single time. Cycle. Narcissists have cycles all the time. And one of the things that's predominant about that is making sure that other people don't see those cycles. That's why they isolate. That's why they manipulate. That's why they lie. That's why they gaslight. They don't want you to see those cycles. And one of the best ways for you to not see a cycle is to not look at the past. So I'll tell you, I thought we moved on from that. Like the past is in the past, like leave it there. Or like a really, a really kicker is, I thought you already forgave me for that, okay? Just because you might have forgiven somebody for something doesn't mean that they have the right to keep doing it over and over and over again. And doesn't mean that you get to a place where you're like, oh, I forgave that, so now I forget about it. No, you still need to remember that that's there doesn't mean you hold on to it or you hold it over their head. What that means is, hey, this happened in the past. We're okay now, but this can't happen again in the future. Like this can't keep happening. If, if it does keep happening, that's a pattern. And that pattern is not acceptable to have a loving relationship, to have a consistent relationship, to have a relationship continue, whatever it might be. So a lot of you probably experienced this and probably seen where you have that argument, you have that fight, they come back in completely different, everything's okay because they want you to ignore the past. Because the past, a close look at the past will show you the cycles that have set you up for further abuse in the future. So take a look at the past, see the track record, see what's going on. Doesn't mean you need to hold it over the heads, just means you need to say like, here's the facts. Like, you cheated on me this many times. Like, here's the facts. You've lied to me this many times. Like, here's the facts. You've abused me this many times. Like, there's a there's a line. And we're gonna we're gonna stop it at this point. Like you wanna you wanna keep doing that? That's fine. Go do that with someone else, but you're not gonna do that with me. Set clear boundaries, have clear consequences, follow through. If you're on here and you like what you see, please subscribe. Please share it to other people because there's other people out there that are hurting that don't know how to deal with some of these things or that don't even know that they're going on. Some people are so gaslit, so manipulated, so lied to that they think some of the abuse that they're going through on a day-to-day -day basis is normal or, in worst case, is love. And it's not. 
I talk to two different types of people. I talk to some people that come and they're like, hey, I think I have narcissistic traits or I'm a narcissist. We talk, we try to see if we, they can cut the lies and work on um, a growth plan of actually getting better, of minimizing what they're doing, of how they're treating other people. I talk the majority of the times to people who are survivors or people who are stuck in the thick of it. They're stuck with a narcissist. They're stuck in a crazy relationship and everything that's going on. They're trying to figure out either how do I get out or how do I get over and I try to work with people one-on-one -on -one dealing with the facts, the fable, and, and the fiction of what's been going on in their lives so they can actually get to the place of healing, growth, and change. That's my goal to be on here. If you like what you see, subscribe. If you want to talk sometime, go to my website, rawmotivations.com. Click on the one-on-ones. Would love to be able to talk to you one-on-one -on -one to be able to work through a couple different things. Sometimes we have events that come up on the website as well. You can check out different videos on there. Also, you can click on the podcast. So if you're going to listen, you grab it on Anchor or you can grab it on um, Apple or on Spotify. Would love to have some feedback there as we try to continue growing awareness about narcissism, how it's affected my life, and how it could affect yours or how it already has affected yours. Thanks so much.